I picked up HTML for dummies <laughs> and it was like, oh my God, this is what I'm supposed to do with my whole life. She sends me this racy blog to post. What, no wait, when you say racy. It was alternative uses for dog toys. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> The fact that there was like naked people in the room was just wow. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. This is a show about uh, messing up. This is a show about making mistakes uh, in general. Uh, like, I mean, we also talk about lots of other things because let's face it, I just really like getting to know people and you really like getting to know people and that's what we're gonna do and tonight, we have uh, Cami from Webcami Site Design. She is a working, very busy web designer. And for me, that's been pretty rare these days. So I'm excited to find out more. Let's get on with the show. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. I am here with Cami from uh, Webcami Site Design. Is that right? That's correct. <gasps> I got you got it. it. Like it's that hard. Webcami site design, <laughs> yeah. to put that together. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, I'm a web designer here in Seattle, Washington, and I build websites for small businesses and nonprofits. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Only small businesses? Is that what you've done your whole career? It's pretty much what I've done my whole career. I kind of am looking for other small businesses like myself to work with, but yeah. occasionally I'll get a big fish like you know, a large charity or something like that. Yeah, so. still, like a nonprofit still. Like yes, a, oh, yeah. I have St. Vincent de Paul in Seattle is one of my clients. <gasps> you so. know what? Oh, uh, this is so interesting. One of the only websites I ever made money on building a website was uh, St. Vincent de Paul in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, cool. And I'm sure that they do not use what I made <laughs> like, I don't know, 15 years ago, oh, maybe? Yeah. yeah. So did you did you build your first site in, in Notepad? Like uh, it was a, it was a really old. I think it was called arachnophobe or something. Oh, I know what you're talking about. about. Yeah. Arachnophobe. Or, yeah, I, I love it. I love it. Like we're like. Oh, yeah, I know it's one of those weird names. It was that thing. <laughs> it was uh, kind of like that, but yeah. it would change colors for you and help you do. Oh, has the, the color print. syntax yes, that yeah. came in. Mm -hmm. Super helpful. Yeah, that was. You were like, cool. why isn't this working? Oh, I forgot to close right. a tag again i remember working in front page for like you know but would only use the code side yeah. because it had really good color contrast. yeah because i would do this I like, yeah we get so excited about syntax highlighting right now there are people watching they're like nope i'm done like, yeah. uh, like <laughs> i have no idea what they're talking about i'm so excited i'm like oh i remember yeah. that yeah i remember that yeah you have been doing this for a while that's a great really long time i love Kindred wordpress spirit. yes oh my gosh. i'm so glad that was came around and that so much that. easier was now. that was that the first um cms that you used or did you use like movable type or oh no TypePad wordpress or? was the first one that, that was I the used. first one mm -hmm. and that's the one that you've even continued with yeah you lucked out uh i did i, I didn't pick something else yes Man. tell me how you uh, how you got into it? Did you do, did you do print work previous to this? Did you do other types of design work previous to the um, well, doing internet stuff? Not really. Uh, do you remember a company in Seattle called J Jacobs? J. Oh, a the, the retail clothing store? clothing store. J Jacobs. Do you re yeah, I totally do you remember, remember them? Jacobs. I know that you're from over. Idaho, so I figure you yeah. probably knew them. So, Jack, do you remember J Jacobs? I do. Did yeah. you buy clothes at J Jacobs? I did not. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't have the $99 men's suit at J. Jacobs, no, I think, so but did you... I worked for that company. I was an allocation analyst, which I was one of the people that decided how much inventory a store would get. Yeah. And so it was very computer, uh, you know, paradox. And it was one of those jobs where you're just analyzing numbers all the time. Yeah. But when I was in high school, I was yearbook editor and I did graphic design in college. And yeah. So the, how I fell into this is I had a kid and I didn't want to work at Jay Jacobs. I worked at Eddie Bauer too for a while, but yeah. I was like super long hours and traveling and mm -hmm. everything. And I wanted something I could do from home. Yeah. So I picked up HTML for dummies <laughs> and it was like, oh my God, this is what I'm supposed to do with my whole life. And I enrolled in school at S Seattle Community College yeah. and here I am. Oh my, uh, so from Jay Jacobs, Eddie Bauer, 
to their stay at like, home mom. And then I cow. didn't really, you know, I was, so, I couldn't just be a stay at home mom. It was yeah. driving me nuts. So, so did you, did you start just out of your, out of your house? Did you get I a sure place? I sure did, did. I started at home. I started volunteering all over my community in West Seattle. Yeah. And I did preschools and little league and the Seattle school district used to allow people to hire somebody to do an actual school website. So I did Schmitz Park Elementary, Alki Elementary. And so that was kind of how I started getting traction. Yeah. Was volunteering. So backing up even even further then, did you, you did design work um, like with the yearbook when you were in high school? Yeah, I was totally, when I was a little kid, I wanted to be Darren Stevens on Bewitched, like I saw those reruns, oh right? I'm not Wait, quite what? that old, but that be... wasn't that wasn't the astronaut. No, that was a different one, no, right? he yeah. was an advertising agent, oh. and he had like a big pad of paper, you know, and he would I... show <laughs> anyway. You watch I'm a bewitched. rerun. No, yes. I'm like the astronaut was I Dream of Genie. Yes, uh, okay. different, different. So I know I got you. I liked Bewitched. Yeah, so yeah. I used to make signs. My parents had their own business, and I would make little advertisements for them. And so would they? Would they uh, 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 this is really. It, of course they would use them. Did they use your signs uh, that you made Well, they hung them up in their shop. I don't think they... <laughs> <laughs> they were like, yeah. oh, let's go make a million yeah. of these. And, and it was, you know, out. it was yeah. like a Snoopy drawing with like, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. What, what so, was the business that they, that they were running? My parents made handbags and did arts and craft fairs all over the state of California for 30 years. Oh my God. Yeah. They would, so they would travel to different festivals and yep. things like that? They did the Gilroy Garlic Festival, like all the big ones in California. Wait, so I don't even know what the Gilroy Garlic Festival- You don't Festival... know what that is? No, no, oh, I just like huge. that you're like all the big ones yeah. in, in California. <laughs> it was a big one. And it's the Garlic Festival. The Garlic Festival's huge, yeah. <laughs> but it was a really good, I learned how to sell. And that has been a really important part of my business because yeah. I'm not just the behind the computer person. I'm also the salesman yeah, for my business. Oh, well, you, you, you have to. Well, this is the first time I've seen your drink. It's behind you. <laughs> Jack, are you, I think you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. He's ready. What are we drinking? Oh, we're drinking this most wonderful, tasty, delicious drink <laughs> called the Spark and Synapse. We've got some gin here, some Aquavit. Pretty flowers, bogomalt, the tastiest of Bo the tastiest. Bogomalt. That's beautiful. Wait, wait, uh, bogomalt. Wait, what's what's bogomalt, Jack? Citrus I, fruit. I asked you this before. That's right. Citrus fruit. It's citrus. House made uh, lime rosemary shrub, maraschino. Wow. I wore the right jacket. <laughs> <laughs> what do we say? Is, cheers. Is, Is that what we're gonna do? Yeah, cheers. All right, cheers. cheers. Okay, there's a straw. It's to Netscape. Right to Netscape, oh wait, we have to do it. <laughs> okay. Netscape. To Netscape. <laughs> oh, I know there are nerds everywhere rejoicing that we said. Oh, that's good, yeah. Okay, web design business. <laughs> Speaking from personal experience. Yes. Like not an easy gig to kind of continue with. You started off pretty early, there were like webmasters everywhere, like all over the place. Like how did you differentiate or create a career out of that when you've got like, hey, my like I have I have a kid in a basement that can build a website for me. Oh yeah, I still get that. Yeah. I still get that. I um well I think finding my business name Web Cami yeah. ended up being a really great thing to do because really? in my neighborhood, yeah, I'm the person that builds websites and like people will just call me web cami mm. right because that's what i, I call do. you web cami <laughs> like i uh, i almost introduced you as web cami instead yeah, of just it cami. happens it happens yeah. but you know i i feel like i just kept volunteering and kept i just didn't go away yeah i was just always there and i i really focused on my local communities and so you know just that community experience really helped me build yeah a, a good clientele so start at that 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 smaller space and that now you just have the community right yeah. i mean just start where you live and and really reach out tell all your friends what mm -hmm. you're doing i mean i've done websites for my friends in California, you know, it just, it's a great way to get your name out there. Yeah. 
Is there any equivalent that used to exist for the work that you do now? I think back in that time frame, it probably would be sort of like yearbook stuff. Yeah, totally. I mean, maybe. I learned layout skills and yeah. things like that because you really need to have some good. I think you need good print design skills to be a good web designer. Yeah. And, you know, white space and using oh, yeah. space well and all that stuff. So yeah. I learned that. What were the challenges that you saw when you first started that I guess from your, your past experience didn't quite translate? Like what are the what are sort of the difficulties that you saw with uh, designing for the web that you didn't see in designing for like yearbook or print previously? Well, I guess you, I mean, I know that you had the what you see is what you get screen, right? But oh, if yeah. you were wanted to be a coder, you were working in the other environment and you'd have to just always be flipping back and forth to check mm -hmm. on how things were balancing when you were coding. Yeah. So, you know, that was kind of an interesting piece to it. And, mm -hmm. you know, I used to spend hours just making sure my navigation didn't move one pixel yeah. on every single page yeah. and things like that, that just used to take hours of time that I don't even pay attention to now because yeah. I don't have to. Well, like the, the, the JavaScript rollovers when they first oh, yeah. happened, right? On mouse. Out, I know, on mouse I know, over. Oh, mouse over, right? <laughs> and you, they would come over, and then you would see like it's a pixel off. Oh yeah, and then you'd be so upset. Like and you'd be like, God, why I did is that? the same thing. Why is it doing this? Oh uh, yeah. no, I know. And, and your then... each page had all your header information versus. Oh, because we didn't have includes at the time, right? I would say that the thing that makes me cringe the most yeah. and when I look back on starting my business was when I first started using WordPress um, and I had been building sites in code, right? So right. now I have this uh, dashboard and they, all the dashboards look the same. Right. So I had more than one dashboard open. And I was because more than one website. I just yeah, I had like thirty tabs open, right? Because that's <laughs> how I still do that. But I will only have one website open now because this happened. So I had a client who was a waxer, and she had a racy blog. <laughs> and she sent this is you know a few years ago. She sends me this racy blog to post. Okay. What? No, wait. When you say racy, it was alternative uses for dog toys. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> okay, so I'm putting this blog post up for her. Yes. And I hit, you know, publish, and then I click the URL to check it, and it uh -huh. opens up, and it wasn't her blog. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It was somebody else's blog. Yeah. So I instantly knew I made the mistake, but I had the panicked feeling, right? And it was probably only up for 30 <laughs> seconds. So, like, I instantly delete it. And then I'm just like sweating it for like, I can't believe I just did that. Oh. But it was up for 30 seconds. I checked the Wayback Machine for a year because I was I was afraid. just gonna say the same thing. I was like, yeah. when does Wayback capture? But it, it didn't. I mean, please. it would have to capture it at the very moment that I published it. Well, I'm a little disappointed. because so. I, I love that you just said you checked it because guess what I was gonna do as soon as we were done? What? Go to the Wayback Machine. Yeah, it's not on there. <laughs> it's not on there. Like a hundred percent. But it was like the most sinking feeling I've had as a business owner. It was like, how could I mess that up? Like it was just, it would have been okay if I put it on the doggy daycare website, right? No, 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 no that's on the doggy daycare website. But yeah. anyway, that was a learning experience. I do not work on more than one website at a time. What is it that you don't know where you've got to pull in somebody else? Or have you just had to bootstrap and figure out everything across the board for what you're doing to like run an actual business, like make a living doing what you're doing? Well, I try to stay in my lane. So I don't take on a lot of projects that I'm not really 100% sure are right for me. Yeah. And so that's where all these partnerships yeah. come into play. Is that a, is that like a, a, a lesson learned? Oh, like... big time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's nothing when you're first starting out your business, you're like, you, you get opportunities and you're like, oh, sure. You found that theme on <laughs> theme for us. I can do this. And then you log in and you're like, 
oh my God, I've never seen anything like this. I don't know You don't what. even know who made the theme. Right. Like and it even, could be even, totally, yeah. Yeah, it could be like they bought the theme that it, only three had been sold or yeah, something and yeah. there's no support or... So I, I developed my own system and now if somebody comes to me, they're gonna get a website built with what I use. Yeah. And they're gonna host it where I recommend they host it. And they're gonna yeah. get their domain name where I, yeah. 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 And so I yeah. just kind of, that is totally a huge lesson that I wish yeah. I would have learned early. Cause I, I spun out trying to do so many things to, that I just had no idea what I was that doing. Make, I mean, that makes sense if you're like just doing it all on your own. So as soon as somebody says like, I have money, I'll give it to you. You're like, yeah. Okay. Well, like, and when you're starting, what do you want me to do? Yeah. Yeah. Or you know, they'd ask you to make a business card, and then you know, the next thing you know, you're doing their brochure, <laughs> and and you're still the whole time you're doing it, you're thinking, but I'm really just a web designer. This is not what I want to spend my so day did you, doing. Did you do brochures? And oh and, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you do that now? Or oh you've got no. A, mm -mm. You're clear. I've got my trusted partner, <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay. <laughs> you know, I have the I have my go-to. Thank you, Lindsay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And you go to her for taking care of that yeah, stuff now. Yeah, that's right. I send all I send people to work with her directly. Yeah. The more confident I got in yeah. what I was doing, the easier it was for me to say no yeah. to projects. Because we all we I'm a people pleaser, man. I want to make people happy. Yeah. And so of course, you know, I've got this client. I did their website. Now they want me to do a business card. I hate doing business cards, but I'm going to do it because I just love this client, yeah. you know, and I spent 15 hours building a business card because <laughs> I'm not that good at it, <laughs> you know, and you know, I spent longer on the business card than the website. Yeah, there, I, I, I done the exact same thing. Yeah, for sure. For so sure. Uh, I think that's just something people learn over time. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you would do like if you weren't doing this? You have anything else where you like have that inkling of that looks like fun, uh, something that you might want to do? I really think I'm doing exactly what I was meant to do. Set. Like I used to when I was in high school, I wanted to be the yearbook lady that came to all the high schools to teach people <laughs> like the I wanna, rep. I want to be the yearbook Herf. lady. I can tell you. Herf Jones. Herf, I know, you know Herf Jones. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the Herf Jones representative. I thought that that was the coolest. The Herf that Jones was, lady. Yeah, uh, I don't know what her title was. I, I was <laughs> 17. I wasn't paying that much attention. Yeah, but, but you saw that. You're like, that's yeah, it. Yeah, oh, that's a cool job. Sometimes I've seen uh, designers because of the, like, what you need to learn how to do uh, could translate into, uh, like, gallery art like that type of stuff. Have you, have you ever took thought art, about doing that stuff? I took yeah. fine art classes in college. I remember the first art class where the nude model was, and that was like amazingly bizarre to me because I went to a private Christian school and I, you know, the fact that there was like naked people in the room was just, wow, blew I don't my know mind. What I, I don't know what I would do yeah. even now if they, I would be like 12 years old. But I had like the portfolio thing and charcoal drawings wow. and the whole bit. So yeah, I did art a yeah. little bit. I like to do, I wanted to do magazines and the advertising mm -hmm. thing was, I just knew that was in my blood. Yeah. But you had to what do those I? art classes. And then, well, I hate to date myself, but the computer was like in a, you know, clean room. It was this giant IBM yeah. thing. So, you know, what I do now didn't even exist no. when I was in college. You talked a lot about or little about but it made sense i'm um, building your business it was focused on uh community mm -hmm. so in the space that you were in the people that you were working with in that area uh, where you live that's the the physical community um i know that the wordpress community mm -hmm. is like a pretty pretty we big deal like they're really, pretty tight right we, yeah we have a really big community in seattle there's like 2800 members in the wordpress oh, meetup wow I co-host a WordPress Fundamentals once a month yeah. um, in Seattle with a, another developer. And we just help people that are trying to figure out WordPress for the first time. Yeah. And then uh, word camps. Word camps. I love word camps. I, I, uh, how, would, how, like, how, would you, how would you describe word camps? Like, for, like my mom that has no idea what it is. What would you, what would you say? Word camp is a... It's like a seminar for people who use WordPress 
And it's not only people who build websites, it's people who use them. Yes. And like big agencies. Yeah. And companies like GoDaddy. Yeah. And, you know, everybody comes together and learns about WordPress and running a WordPress business. Yeah. And uh, then That's... we go to karaoke. <laughs> 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 You've got a rent of like the yeah. tiny little dive bar in Missouri. <laughs> yeah. I, you just don't get those experiences. That that I was sh- the best karaoke bar I'd ever been to. It was awesome. <laughs> there was a bride doing karaoke. What? In her wedding dress, and ever like the whole crowd. It was like a concert. It was so cool. That's yeah, amazing. Mm-hmm. So look, look what you get for uh, working with WordPress. <laughs> yeah. You get to see fun. a bride dive bar, <laughs> yeah. peanuts on the floor, yeah, sing, singing her heart out. That's how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for being on the show. Oh, thank you so much. This I had a, a great time. How are you feeling? Good. I'm feeling good. Well, one more, one more, one uh, more toast. drink. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. What was it? Oh, Netscape. Net. Yeah. Um, what else? What, could what we else? Do? Uh, what, old what's one? an old one? Ask Jeeves. Uh, I don't what? know. Ask. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. Ask uh, Jeeves. Ask Jeeves. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Thanks, Cammie, for being on the show. That was uh, great, and I've been drinking, so I'm slurring my speech a little bit. If you want to see more people like Cammie on the show, then subscribe, uh, ring the bell, uh, do that type of stuff, and uh, we'll show up in your YouTube whatever. And if you have a of your own and you want to be on the show, go to fups.com. We would love to have you.